Hi there, Aquarius. This is Kim here to do your reading for you. Uh, this reading is for whenever you actually resonate with it. And um, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I am opening up private readings again. So if you would like one, um, they are $24 right now. I think that's pretty fair for what's for the time of right now. And um, you can find out information on that in the description box. So let's get into your reading Aquarius. Let's see, what do we have? We need some positive messages for Aquarius, hopefully. Do another shuffle. So I, what I do is I provide a channel here, open channel for your spirit guides and your angels with my spirit team. Okay. This is Surrealist Tarot, and I might use um, Vice Versa Tarot to clarify with. Are those Nine of Cups? It's in the reverse there. So I'll let you know what that means. Just a second. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Swords as a challenge, King of Cups, Judgment, Seven of Cups, Three of Wands, nice. Death in the reverse, King of Swords in the reverse, Five of Cups, in the reverse. Oh, nice. And the Hermit and the Page of Swords in the reverse. So, okay. Now, as a reader, like every reader has. You know, some cards that mean something, usually some people have things that are special to them. And the Nine of Cups in the reverse is what's a little bit special to me because it reminds me of a time, well, of my own experience where you can have everything that you want, but then that comes with the message of be careful for what you pick. So pick the things, you know, that are good for you, good for your body as best as we can right now. Um, even though it's a time where it's, it's an easy time to want to reach out for our vices and the things that we think will make us feel better, but we need to look at the broader picture and see, you know, if I choose you know um, drugs or alcohol is that gonna actually or overeating or or whatever it is if you choose something to overdo it um, there are things to deal with after that so so this is why it's really important to make sure that we're picking things that are good for us ace of Pentacles with the king of cups as the um, heart of the matter and the three of Swords energy is the challenge. Judgment is in the past. Okay, so let me take a quick look here. I mean, really, mainly what's coming out is a big warning for you all to be careful with what you put in your bodies or ingest. You're letting go of the past and picking things that are better for you better for your body, better for the environment. And we're moving out of a time of disrespect or, uh, you know, if we had felt that from somebody else, we're moving out of that energy, um, moving away from things that we did cling on to that were not helpful to us anymore. So the Ace of Pentacles here is the um, main issue. So that is your um, your creation. And I love the sailboat in the middle of that egg. That's nice. And it's, it's an egg, but it's the sun too. So it is your manifestation. This is Surrealist Tarot, by the way. This is your manifestation, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, there is something bittersweet about it, but it's like... If you can just let go of the things that we judge from the past that were holding us back and then grab on to those things that were good, that were helping us move forward, I think that that is uh, the main message here. Letting go of the things that hurt us, grabbing the things that were good for us and, and having that light up our way instead of having our, you know, the things that were good for us light up our way here. The King of Cups also, this could be about good advice, maybe that we're getting from somebody or a mentor or 
Mm, the King of Cups could be you mastering your own mood and your emotions. And sometimes when we're in an emotional state, sometimes it's hard to actually pinpoint what those are. And so therefore there are people that can really help with that if you need help um, with emotions, how we're feeling. Could be a grandpa energy too. I think that there's a big opportunity for you coming or it's already here. If you would know what's, what's your story. If it's here and you see it, then seize it. You know, it's not that we forget about the things from the past. It's just that we don't want to carry um, a memory of something that is is not going to help us with, you know, with this, whatever this past thing is. It keeps pulling to me. It keeps coming back to me. I don't know why. All right. Seven of Cups energy is uh, the now moment. There's a lot of options to you. Not all seem completely clear, but that's okay. But that's okay because we're getting through this anyway and we're grateful for all of the... Um, it's like we're grateful for all the options here, right? Seven of Cups. And again, I'm getting the drug out and alcohol warning of watch out because that can put a quote spell on you when you do or consume things that and that's my little card that actually signifies that to me when i see these especially seven of cups here i know that there is some kind of um influence that you just want to be careful about because you want to treat yourself good and others the death card is in the reverse, and this is you, so I think this is really good change and transformation. Okay, sorry it kind of cut it out like that. I wanted to edit this a little bit because the Eight of Pentacles is here. This person's working really hard, wants, to, wants nothing more than to be with family here, but working hard so that the family has um, things, that like has everything they need. And the King of Cups here is... You know, maybe there's a certain person that you admire or look up to um, who is thinking about you right now while they are working. It could be something like that. I have the Nine of Cups in reverse again for you. So again, here's the message of, yes, everything that you really want or need is going to come your way. Hang tight. Choose wisely what we wish for. Choose wisely what we wish for. Um, okay, so the four of wands came out, and it did come out up here, didn't it? There's some kind of, it feels like there may be some confusion regarding. No, actually, this is even better. This four of wands energy, I'm feeling like it, it may be like um, talking about uh, some kind of big move that we're going to make or commitment. And we have a lot of options available to us. It's This could be within relationship um, or this could be, you know, work. It, it can be anything that has like a goal that others are trying to get you to reach towards. The death in reverse card for you lets me know that the change and transformation is still going on. The change has to do with wishes granted. So, so being careful what we wish for, making big commitments, and working really hard, even though it's hard to be away from family here. Working really hard for everyone. Tell me about the King of Swords energy in reverse. Tell me about that. That is in the environment. In your environment. <sighs> okay. Divine timing, unwinding. Divine timing, unwinding here. Um, meaning that it is time. It is time to uh, set aside differences. It is time to set aside um arguments there are some arguments here that that are getting smoothed out divine timing is playing a big role in your life right now the king of swords in the reverse is 
something that may have not been done by the book is being um, is going to be reevaluated, and then something's going to unwind for you. I don't know if this has to, if you have a business and this might be about like it's divine timing to learn all of the um, like ins and outs or to make sure the pet taxes are paid. I'm not really sure. It can be anything here. If it's a person, I'm going to say here that the king of swords in the reverse. If it's in the reverse, it could be somebody who's just not very um, encouraging with their words. So it feels like the intention is off, but this truly is perception also. Your perception might have Sagittarius energy here. I'm feeling Scorpio, Sagittarius, um, lots of the Scorpio. This is a really big move. There is something that we are about to power through and get through. You see the storm is here, but this guy's like, yeah, I can see it in the distance. You know, I can see it. I see that it's there, but I'm going to keep my torch lit and I'm going to keep on moving. But sometimes I have to be careful not to move towards that storm. And of course, I'm meaning metaphorically, if there is a storm there, um, what will get you moving is going to be this opportunity, this money opportunity that might get you moving towards what you're wanting to manifest for yourself for the future. The three of wands is like expansive. It's, um, it's seeing the future. It's being able to have vision and you know it's interesting is it looks like it's this person, but better. That's nice. Five of Cups, letting go of the past. The Hermit is kind of like, um, okay, I'm going to sit with myself. I'm going to let my all-seeing eye get turned on, meaning your um, third eye get turned on. And that's the way I look at it. That is not the way anybody else will look at it. <laughs> Just remember that. Because it looks like the all-seeing eye in this um, artwork, but I think it is meaning your vision. The Page of Swords in the reverse is finding your vision and your journey. Even when there's people around you, you're still on your individual journey. And the Page of Swords in the reverse is like, you know, just you've got some other things. There are some things to do your own fact checking on. It is your own journey to find the truth out of what you hear. Sometimes it's not always the truth. You have to be discerning. All right, that's what I got, that's what I got. And then look, on the bottom, five of cups and the reverse, again. So somebody's really um, wanting to release from the past and realize that these, if you turn around, release this three of swords energy, the heartache, the sadness, maybe involving more than three parties or people, um, there are two aces, possibly aces there. Um, you just have to turn around. Yeah. So that's what I've got for your tarot part. I'm going to do your oracle part now. Celebration, 11-11, too. You might be seeing those numbers, 11-11. Right, this is the Sacred Spirit Oracle Cards. Sacred Spirit Oracle Cards. Hidden Realms. Create conscious awareness. 15, eternal union. New love is forming. New love is forming. 15. I 
I have 35, spiritual evolution, to set your heart free. And sometimes when the heart is tied to those hard things from the past, then that's what it's talking. Set your heart free, okay? We'll set those emotions free. Set the, the memory free or whatever that is that you have to do to get past it. Hidden realms. Create conscious awareness of hidden realms. Ascended masters. Number two, create open communication. Create open communication or allow your heart to receive love. I think it's meaning that. Allow your heart to receive love. And an ascended masters can definitely help with communicating with you, channeling the messages. That's definitely what that's meaning is to, you know, tap into those people that, um, well, you know, there's many, many people who have been spiritual gurus um, that we can look up to, open up to, as such as being an open channel. This is a spell casting deck, by the way. I have boundaries. No means no. A reconciliation with the hidden realms. Maybe that means you've never actually been apart when somebody is in your heart. You can keep them with you at all times, and they keep it. It's, it thus is the way, you know, spirit lives on. Protection, set your heart free. It's safe to love. Protection, spiritual evolution. Send in man masters, create open communication. Create open communication, and there you go, because psychic ability. So you might be channeling this information. All right, and then I'm going to pull from this deck too, okay? Okay, Moonology Manifestation Deck. Mm, keep your heart open. Set your heart free. Keep your heart open. Know your worth. Know your worth. Take inspired action. Take inspired action. And make time for self-love. And new moon in Leo shine. And that is what I've got for you, Aquarius. Also, for a new moon in Cancer, relax. Send you love and light. Bye-bye.